I'll start with the small layout. At min width 450 pixels, the only real change from the default is that the light blue and the green elements both take up 50% of the viewport. So at min width 450 pixels, I set width 50% for the light blue and the green elements. So far so good. At min width 550 pixels, it looks like the only difference is that now the red box only takes up 40% of the viewport, while the orange box takes up 60% of the viewport. So I made my change and well, to be honest, this doesn't quite look like what I expected. I thought the red box would be probably a little bit farther over. So you know what, let's go ahead and change something. Inside DevTools, I'll change that 40%, which I was mistaken about, and I'll change that to 33%, which means that the width of the orange box needs to be 66.6%. .6%. I was a little bold there, and instead of testing first, I just went ahead and set the widths inside my source code. But looking at the site, this isn't actually what I expected. I think the orange isn't taking up enough space, and I think the red is taking up too much space. So I think I'll use DevTools to make some adjustments. Instead of 40, 60, I'll go ahead and make it one-third and two-thirds. So red becomes 33.3%, and orange becomes 66.6%. All right, that's looking a lot better. And lastly, there's min width 800 pixels. The only difference between 550 and 800 pixels is that with 800 pixels, there are now left and right margins. At the breakpoint with a min width of 800 pixels, I went ahead and set a fixed width of 800 pixels, and then a margin left and margin right of auto. With a quick save and a refresh of the browser, it looks like the page now has margins on the left and right. Alrighty, that looks pretty good.